Okay, the um, our batteries are sitting on a uh, one inch thick piece of plywood. Uh, this keeps the batteries off the uh, bolts that are at the bottom and uh, prevents any uh, acid leaks. Alright, right now we have a 110 outlet that is, well, let me start over. Okay, grab the stand. Okay, this is our uh, this is our charging port. Now, uh, what we have is a standard outlet, and uh, this is a uh, fourteen two, and it goes to two different uh, outlets on the uh, vehicle. Just take a standard plug, plug it in, and now we have both of our battery chargers will come online and start charging the system. But it's not completely hooked up yet, so it'll be just a couple more hours, everything will be done. Alright, uh, this here was a uh, faceplate for a uh, outside exterior light, like a uh, floodlight. And this is a half inch uh, connection that has a uh, rubber grommet. You tighten it down and it gets tight and makes a watertight seal. Let me get that in. Uh, you just tighten this nut grommet seals and it's watertight and it just sticks out a little bit so I think we'll be okay and anyway, it's right there okay the uh, motor controller is hooked up for high voltage I'm fixing to do the low voltage uh, connections uh, we have this is our current sensor for the uh, pack tracker. Uh, it's got to be plugged into the pack tracker. Plus, we're over there in the. Uh, you can see the uh, all the little bunch of wires. That is the uh, connection to each individual battery, and I'm going to be attempting to hook all that back up. And uh, I don't know, about an hour and a half, everything should be done, and we should be able to drive the vehicle. This is your pack tracker sensor. And there you go. And uh, you can get this on EV uh, uh, EV source, I think. It, no, wait a minute, no, I got this at Cloud uh, Cloud EV. Um, anyway, uh, it was like 170 bucks. And anyway, pretty good. Each individual cable. Each individual battery is monitored, so on and so forth, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, a little bit of a headache. Been up late. Okay, let me get back to this. Okay, I'm going to be making the final uh, hookups on the pack tracker. Right. First battery in line, and we have our sensors blinking. So, uh, look, this is going to be the one that actually hooks up. So, the very first battery back is going to be A. B is going to be the ones that continue on. Uh, you start your pack tracker at the very farthest one, the one that's going to be your negative pole off the battery pack, you start there and you work your way back to the uh, positive pole. So, alright, we're on to the next one. It's a, it's going to be green for battery two in the string. Uh, 
which would be this one. All right, take our green lead, put that up. If the pack tracker stops blinking steady, then something's wrong. So right now we're okay. Okay, we're got a uh, kind of got a uh, rat's nest to figure out. We have all this, and uh, well, didn't label it, but it won't take but a few minutes to figure out what goes to where. Uh, we got the pack trackers are hooked up, and we're ready to uh, install the uh, get that plugged into the back. We got to route the wires underneath the carpeting. Uh, I don't know, maybe another 30 minutes, uh, we should be able to turn it on, hopefully.